Welcome to the kingdom of Eswatini. This is Africa's last absolute monarch with a tiny population of just about 1.2 million people. Eswatini is very safe, so friendly and very compact such that nowhere is more than an easy two hour drive to the capital city. One of your highlights will probably be the cultural village. So here they have preserved the history and the culture of the people. Just about 10 minutes away from the city center, this place is full of life. Yo guys, we just got to the village. I love what I see. Wow, this is so African, so different. Uh, the village is right under the hills. Wow. Guys, we finally got here. Exactly at 3 p.m. Get ready to enjoy some beautiful cultural music and dance. And of course, what a man can do, a woman can do better. <laughs> If you are lucky, they will choose you to join them, hoping you don't have two left legs. <laughs> but this is actually really, really fun. Before or after the dance, you can get a tour of the cultural village. This shows you the traditional setting of a Swazi homestead. I've well, been given a tour of the village. Raise your hand. I was nearby the gate. I was just mentioning that this is the girl's bedroom. All the girls at home are sleeping over that side. Once they are six years and above six, they will be sleeping over that. If you are less than six, you sleep, still sleep with your mom over that side and the grandmothers. Also the boys, they go there once they are six years and above. So the girls will be placed by the entrance because in the past we are having enemies. We are using the track to our enemies. Distracting. Because the girls over that side, they are not yet married. Still they are good looking. The enemies when they come here, they will be attracted to the beauty of the ladies because the first house will be attracted is the one by the entrance. They'll drop down whatever that they have. Instead of fighting, they start proposing love to the ladies. <laughs> the young ones will be exiting over that side as if they are giving them privacy. They go and report to the elders that we do have enemies by the gate. We reach that side, we find that they are not ready to fight. We just come over that side, we defeat them. So this place is so beautiful, you will probably want to spend the night. But don't you worry, they have classy cottages that are perfect for you. So thanks to the Ministry of Tourism of Eswatini, we got to sleep in this place and we loved it. Look at it. How can you not? This place is just wow. These rooms are so cozy. It gets cold at night, but the good thing is that they have the heater. 
so that sorts you out and behind you get a beautiful view oh my goodness and they also have a waterfall not so far from here gosh can it get any better than this welcome to riverstone mall so if you love shopping this is a place to come so Eswatini has a couple of you know malls this is one of the biggest malls in the country and it's beautiful as you guys can see so yeah let's go eat So malls here have many stores which sell world-class brands. I want to go check this legit store out. So yeah, follow me. And the best thing about it is that um, these things are actually very affordable. So you don't have to dig deep to look classy or hot. Oh my god, these are the shoes. Oh my god. Oh this is cute. These are cute too, but I think you can get the better one in the next shop. In the next shop, yeah. So let me buy my dad something. I hope I get this for my dad. Oh my god, these shoes look so cute. I mean, they are very, very, very affordable. Um, 169. You know, that's quite affordable because the shoe looks really good. The texture, the design. <laughs> I'm definitely getting this. If you love adventure, you will love Maloloja Canopy Tour. This is the only one of its kind here in Swaziland. game drive look at them man it's a game drive you guys it's a combo Guys, we are getting ready to start. I'm so excited. 
Hi, we're about to go on a zip line and we're absolutely having fun, darling. <laughs> Break where? <laughs> when you get to the end. But uh, am I who are, is someone gonna push me? <laughs> <laughs> No one's behind you. Just... gonna push you. How does he break? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you don't see? Don't tighten it. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, apart from the zip lining, they've also got the canopy walk. So, we just finished the eighth uh, zip line. That one? That's a and now this is a canopy walk. What? What? Oh my god. And it's Wait, like it's thin. coming. So um we're supposed to walk holding these ropes. Um and the canopy walk I've gone yeah. on wasn't this this small. Um they are so high, so scary. I'm sorry, unfortunately I did not get to film, <laughs> but uh, it was actually fun to say the least. By the time you're done with all this, you'll probably be feeling so exhausted. Um, the good thing is that they've got you sorted. They're gonna give you a bottle of water and lunch on them. If you love history, you should probably check out the Swazi Museum. It has really interesting and fascinating things like the cars of the former president and um, you get to learn about the history of how the money was developed and many other interesting things you've got to check it out guys so we are from manzini we're going back home then you have this really nice driver who was like do you guys want to go up the mountain and you're like we can't he's like yeah it's like 10 minutes going up and i'm like oh my god right now we're literally going up it's so scary it's so steep but this is so exciting I feel so lucky to have had such a nice driver. He's just taking us up. When the view from up here is, oh my god, you don't even understand. Uh, and we still haven't even gotten up, like, the topmost part. So, yeah. This is crazy, guys. Oh my god. We're still going up. <laughs> oh, the sun is from this other side. So, the clarity. What? You guys, this is something else. OMG. Oh my god, Ooh. what guys? Me, I'm speechless. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, come, 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 come. Oh man, when you come to Swaziland, make sure you do this. Like, they have so many hills. So, when you get an opportunity to go to a hill like this, where you can get to see like almost a quarter of Swaziland, what come, come, come. So now this is what this is the view guys. Heaven or heaven. Eesh, look at that. Oh, the sunset is perfect, man. <laughs> 